Today, today, we're gonna win. We're gonna fight, fight, fight. Notre Dame stops it. The Irish win the game. We play together, we play for each other, and we play to win. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly is presented by TireRack.com and brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Coca-Cola, Sprint, Gatorade, and Under Armour. Inside Notre Dame Football is also sponsored by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. All right, game ball. <laughs> I can't spin it quite as well as he did today, but he spun it pretty good. Made great plays. Pretty electric today. Must have been playing a lot of video games over Colson. Hey! individual war, man. I want to <coughs> accept this on behalf of the offense, man. You did a great job today. So, oh. Notre Dame quarterback Everett Golson accepting the game ball after his impressive return to the football field against Rice. Hello again, Irish fans, and welcome to the fifth season of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan. A much improved Golson took snaps for the first time since the BCS championship game at the end of the 2012 season and led the Irish to a dominant 48-17 victory over the Owls. Golson threw for 295 yards and two touchdowns while also running for three more scores, joining Jarius Jackson and Paul Horning as the only Irish quarterbacks to run for three touchdowns in a game. Now, while Golson's ability to gain yardage on the ground and extend plays by scrambling was impressive, those skills were not the ones that impressed Coach Kelly the most on Saturday. Well, there were two plays that I really thought were outstanding, and both of them were from the pocket. I know everybody wants to talk about his plays outside the pocket, but I think the development of Everett Golson is you start in the pocket, and uh, he made two great plays in the pocket. We saw a huge jump forward for Everett uh, in that development because of his calm in the pocket and his ability to stay in it. This is Phyllis. Phyllis is headed to a science conference, so she's not thinking about tires right now. But if she were, all she'd need to know is TireRack.com. She could use their reviews to find the perfect tires for her car and get them shipped to a local recommended installer. But Phyllis isn't thinking about tires. Phyllis is thinking, uh, well, she's thinking, uh, I'm not really sure, but it's probably important. TireRack.com. Find. Deliver. Install. What happens to your internet when everybody's online at once? It's very frustrating. Run into bandwidth issues. Xfinity delivers the fastest and most reliable in-home Wi-Fi. I bet we can have all three of these guys on their devices and download our favorite HD show. You're going to be impressed. I've never seen something download that fast. Everyone can be on their devices all at the same time. So flipping fast. Get the fastest in-home Wi-Fi with Xfinity Internet or get started for $19.99 a month for a year. See for yourself. Call 855-215-FAST. Sweat. It says I was here. I worked here. It says I only have so much to give before I have to take. What I lose, I want to get back. Sweat says I earn this. Gatorade, created to help replace what you sweat out. Don't let your mind get in front of being a great football player. Do you understand that? Yeah. You know what to do, you know how to do it. Don't let your brain, don't let your mind get in the way of being a great football player today. Do you understand that? Yeah. Don't play the game, play it fast, play the way you've been playing since you've been a little kid. Coach Kelly's pregame speech to his team, urging them to achieve what he often refers to as unconscious competence. If you don't have to think through everything you do on the field, you can play faster, and teams that execute faster are harder to stop. Rice found this out after Notre Dame delivered a complete game performance loaded with big plays. We begin our conversation with the coach with the first scoring play of the game, a called run for Everett Golson. We felt like uh, the kind of coverages that they were playing that we could spread them out. Um, and, and Everett, obviously, as you know, has got a great nose for the goal line. And spread them out, uh, give Everett the opportunity now to, to find the goal line, and that's something that he can do. Second touchdown, the pass to Will Fuller off play action. 
we think that Will's got elite speed and, and you cannot play him man to man. If, if you see, we pulled the safety out of the middle of the field uh, with the flag route and then the post over the top leaves Will one on one. We got to teach Will to, to run in the end zone and not put that ball up and act like he's been there before. The third touchdown was a scramble by Golson. And, and again, I think in that situation, what makes him so dangerous is if you cover down and double out, which they did on a number of our receivers, uh, you put yourself in a position with a quarterback like Everett. And we told them, listen, if they double out uh, and they cover everybody, um, they got to defend you as well. And that's what makes him a, a big threat now in the red zone. Matthias Farley came up with a big interception right before the half. Yeah, and that's another thing that we were pleased with, our two-minute defense uh, right before the half, uh, being able to come up with that interception. I thought it was really big because we had obviously scored right before the half. Getting that stop and the momentum back uh, going into halftime was really big. And then again, Everett showed both his athleticism and his strong arm. Moving to the left, uh, you know, to throw that football all the way across the field. You know, uh, CJ was open early on the play. You know, maybe got flushed out of the, the, the pocket there a little early. But again, he kept his eyes downfield. And, and that is another thing that he's changed. A couple of years ago, he probably would have tucked that and tried to run. Now he's keeping his eyes downfield, looking for receivers. And uh, again, just a great catch. You're up 31-10 in the third quarter in the red zone, third down and maybe the best busted play I've ever seen. <laughs> well, the, the, the word around the, the goog here is that that's our new trick play. Uh, we're going to have the back go one way and Everett's going to open the other way. And we're going we're gonna to keep it our secret as to who went the wrong way. But uh, Everett is a strong runner down there. And you can see in that run in itself the added strength that he's put on since the last time he ran the ball down there. He, he would have been tackled. He ran through a tackle on the goal line. And, and that's the strength that he brings to our run game. Your final touchdown was set up by a terrific run by Malik Zaire on his first snap in a college game. Yeah, we were running our option uh, play. He read the, the, the play uh, terrifically, uh, pulled it. Uh, we've got a tight end that's coming around on that. Uh, gave him some support. Uh, did a great job getting out on the perimeter. And uh, I think he got a little tired uh, at the end of that run. But it was a great read and a great run by Malik. It's always fun when your team wins, but the Notre Dame players generated an electricity that the fans in Notre Dame Stadium picked up on Saturday. An electricity generated by one of the most dangerous commodities in football, players with speed. Yeah, it's a fast team. It's an, we said it's fast, it's athletic. Now, we, we, we're young, and, and there's going to be some days where we're going to make some mistakes, but it's not because they're not going to be working hard at it. But they're, they're a bit inexperienced in certain areas. But I think the field surface helps us as well. And, and uh, the ability to make some precision cuts and the ability to get north and south and really hit things uh, also helps our football team as well. Before earning enough cash back from Bank of America to help pay for her kids' ice time. Before earning 1% cash back Guys! everywhere, every time. Close the front door! And 2% back at the grocery store. Even before she got 3% back on gas, all with no hoops to jump through. Katie used her Bank America Cash Rewards credit card to stay warm and toasty during the heat of competition. That's the comfort of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. Gunnerman Group is a go. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. This is Bob. Bob's on a first date, so he's not thinking about where to buy his next set of tires. But if he were, all he'd need to know is TireRack.com. They stock over a million tires and can have yours shipped to a trusted, independent, recommended installer in as little as one business day. But Bob's not thinking about tires. Bob's thinking 
Should I tell her about that thing in her teeth? TireRack.com. Find, deliver, install. There are few things more stressful for a college football coach than the first game of any season. I talked with Coach Kelly about some of the major concerns he had heading in to the 2014 season opener and how his team performed in those areas. You know, all the concerns you have leading up to the first game about tackling, I thought we tackled well defensively. I thought we played with great effort. The first games, you're worried about guys, um, you know, overanalyzing and, and, and it being too big the moment. We played 10 freshmen, so you're concerned with uh, the anxiety and uh, the deer in the, the headlights kind of scenarios that were guys would just not play. But great effort, great enthusiasm. Great tackling on defense. Offensively, only two penalties uh, and no turnovers. So when you're talking about an opener and you get those things right out of the gate, uh, you got to feel pretty good about it. Are there any individuals on defense that stood out for you? Yeah, I think Joe Schmidt probably. Uh, great communicator, playing the middle linebacker position for the first time. Uh, did a really nice job for us. There's a lot of things he can get better at. And I think I probably say that about every player on the defense. Um, there's a lot of things they can get better at. It was a good start for them, though. When you make a mistake on defense, it usually shows up right away. You had seven freshmen play yesterday. There were not that many mistakes. No, I mean, our mistakes were not made, especially up front, as much as uh, we had some communication errors with the uh, non-freshmen. You know, we have to do a better job communicating. You know, losing Austin Collinsworth 48 hours prior to the game, a, a very good leader and senior communicator for us, you know, made it a little bit difficult for us. And Max and Elijah were back there, and they have to do a better job communicating. There is a natural inclination among fans to focus on big plays, but sometimes they don't pay that much attention to what set up the big plays. Talk about your punt return game. Cody Riggs, Greg Bryant, um, but the other 10 guys on that team as well, holding up, doing a great job, giving them the opportunity to rent, return those punts. You know, set us up offensively like we haven't been set up in a number of years here. Probably the best field position we've had um, since I can remember. And so when you get great field position to start with, it's, uh, it makes it a lot easier to score points. But also, I think, the decisiveness of both returners, and they're fearless. They'll catch the football and they'll go north and south, and that's what you have to do in the punt return game. And on your kick coverage, both kickoffs and punts, a lot of low numbers out there. Yes, a lot of speed on that team, uh, and, I, and I think that's going to prove uh, to be really the missing ingredient that we had out there. And there's some veterans on that team and some starters, and I think uh, that commitment uh, is important, but more than anything else, what you'll see is there was great effort on those teams, and they understand how important special teams is to our success. There is your final score once again. Notre Dame has not scored more points in a home opener since putting 49 on the board in a victory over Indiana back in 1991. And there is a look at your final stats provided by UND.com. The stats accurately reflect a dominant performance by Notre Dame, one that saw the Irish improve their record to 14-0 under Brian Kelly when they do not commit a turnover in a game. It's time now for this week's ATI Physical Therapy Strong and True Moment of the Week. This week's moment centers around the longest touchdown pass of both Everett Golson's and Will Fuller's careers. The 75-yard touchdown the pair combined on late in the first quarter of Saturday's game. Everett Golson was clearly the star of Saturday's season opening win for the Irish, making his return to college football after a season away from the game look easy. But his performance and the team's performance were both the result of a lot of hard work. It's called this, you know, payday. You know, uh, you know, you go through all the spring, through all the cold and everything for you know, a moment like this. So, uh, this is definitely payday for us. You know, I'm just, you know, thankful for you know my teammates, man. They they came out with a lot of enthusiasm. Um, they played loose, played free, um, and you know, because of that, I think that's why we were successful. Now, one of the most impressive aspects of Notre Dame's win over Rice is a fact you heard Coach Kelly mention earlier: ten true freshmen saw action in the game. 
Starting linebacker Joe Schmidt roomed with freshman linebacker Greer Martini the night before the game and did his best to make sure Greer and all the freshmen were ready. I mean, obviously, I remember my first game. Um, so, I mean, I, I roomed with, with Greer and, uh, you know, I, I talked a lot with those young guys and made sure that they were all on the right, you know, on the right page. And, you know, before the game, hey, take six, seven deep breaths. All right. I know this is Notre Dame Stadium, but let's relax. It was phenomenal. I mean, I went down uh, BYU last year and I've been waiting since that second. I, you know, went to walk to the sideline to come back in and it was it was fun. We are introducing a new feature on this week's show, the TireRack.com Drive of the Game. Coach Kelly's pick for the Drive of the Rice game only involved two offensive plays, but it was a play at the end of that drive that resulted in a very important touchdown. I think it's the score right before the half because we talked a little bit about it. I think anytime you get that score right before the half, it becomes more of a, a mental thing and it really puts you in a position where you can take your opponent and put them away. And I think that that was probably the drive of the game. Notre Dame at their 47. Here is a Golson eluding rushers. Throws. He's hit hard as he releases the ball. Coming up on the ball for a touchdown is C.J. Procise. It's early, but when Heisman conversations start, somebody's got to be talking about Everett Golson. Evolution of luxury continues. The next generation 2015 Escalade. It's a brand new day for data. Introducing the new Sprint Family Share Pack. 20 gigabytes of high speed data for only $100. It's enough for the whole family. That's double the data of ATT, Verizon, and T Mobile. And now you can save $60 per month over ATT and Verizon. And when you switch to Sprint, we'll buy out your family's contracts. The Sprint Family Share Pack for the whole family. 20 gigabytes of high speed data to share on up to 10 lines, unlimited talk and text, all for just $100 a month. It's the best deal in data. Come into a Sprint store today. Folks, fall football training camp can be a grind. So in recent years, in an effort to give the players a chance to unwind a little bit, the Notre Dame football team has followed a morning practice midway through training camp with an afternoon visit to South Bend Country Club for what has come to be known as the BK Open. <laughs> Not much better. <laughs> who's the favorite besides me? Yeah. Uh, it's clear to say. Who's on your team though? It's clear to say. I mean, who's on your team? I don't want to say it as the defending champion, you know, but who's on your team? It's what we call a repeat. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a good matchup between Mike Hyman's team. We had a little falling out during fall camp. The week of the tournament, he decides that he's gonna switch teams, cross out the whole team on the checklist and go with this is, this three other dudes and not even tell me. This, no, wait, wait, wait. no, look at Modelus, look at Modelus. Hold on, hold on, let me get this on stage. This is guap. <laughs> oh, all day, we got all day, baby. Go, where is it? Get the floor, Gerard. <laughs> Ball. Find my ball. <laughs> so, so Brenza hit it in the trees on the first tee. Yep. Whew, whew, that's about as good as it gets. There's no better news than that. <laughs> well, despite their rivalry, neither Brinza's team nor Hireman's team won the event. That honor went to the two man team of Captain Nick Martin and Director of Player Development Duke Preston, who got to play in a twosome because, as often happens in a scramble, two guys they were supposed to play with pulled out. Now, the best news we can glean from that video. The Irish football team clearly does not spend much time on the golf course. It's time now for the 2014 debut of an old fan favorite, the 60-second drill. This week's participant, Everett Golson, 
handled my questions with the same ease and skill with which he handled the Rice defense on Saturday. Favorite musical group or artist? Uh, favorite musical uh, I like J. Cole. Do you have a celebrity crush? Uh, definitely Lauren London. Favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, butter pecan. Favorite sports team other than Notre Dame? Sheesh, uh, North Carolina. Ooh. <laughs> pass play or run play? Uh, pass play. The new turf in Notre Dame Stadium? Uh, amazing, speed. Shamrock series? Uh, first thing I think about is jerseys. Hardest hitter on the team? Sheesh, uh, it's, I, I wanna go with Jalen. Best singer on the team? Definitely me. Best dancer on the team? Uh, definitely me. Best comedian on the team? Uh, definitely, you no, know, it's probably not me. It's probably Jay Hayes. Player on the team most likely to become a football coach? Uh, Joe Schmidt. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? Uh, tradition. Everett Golson, you've completed the 60-second drill inside Notre Dame football. Appreciate it. A couple of quizzes. <laughs> Dinner? I don't know. Oh, love that. Send me the recipe. You too, Mom. Hey, Jay. Hey, what are you doing? We're just sitting down for dinner. Perfect. Mind if I join you? You did it. Whenever you're close to Meyer, you're a little closer to home. financial institution is behind many of the milestones in your life. Pick one that sees you as more than just an account number. Own your dreams. Join a credit union today. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes from Thomas J. Frawley of Chicago. He asks, Coach, why have so many college offenses gone away from using a fullback? Well, I think more than anything else is that um, you have so much now electric team speed. I mean, you need to spread the field so you can get the ball in the hands of those guys uh, that can make big plays. If you would like to send in a question for Coach Kelly, all you have to do is log on to UND.com and click on Ask Coach Kelly in the rotating boxes in the middle of the main page. Next up for the Irish, a big challenge, a Michigan team that looked very impressive in a season opening victory over Appalachian State. It's the same Michigan team that we've gone against over the last, you know, four years. They're going to play aggressive defense. You know, obviously they're committed to a, a physical brand of football, uh, especially now offensively. Uh, so uh, it's going to be a great battle and, and one that we're looking forward to. It will indeed be a great night at Notre Dame Stadium. That will do it for this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. We will, of course, have all the highlights of that last scheduled meeting between Notre Dame and Michigan on next week's show. Until then, as always, thanks so much for watching and go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly has been presented by TireRack.com and brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Coca-Cola. Sprint, Gatorade, and Under Armour. Inside Notre Dame football is also sponsored by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.